Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next after this. Hey folks, Son of Beast here, and this is the last one of Game 4. This was the Memphis Grizzlies and the Golden State Warriors back at Chase Center. So far, the Warriors are, have gotten some great percentile lead here at the moment here. It all brings out the moment that they are all looking for. Will they win the fourth game and head back to Memphis for the fifth game and win it again? Or will the Grizzlies come back here to tie the series up? There's a chance in between those two that can be in between the uh, range out score like they have never seen before. Now, I say there's a good uh, possibility chance if Stephen Curry's team wins the game and has a 3 1. Or if John Morant has their all the team coverage down, they may have a series tie and could be going for a 3 2 lead. They try to knock them down. Well, well, there might be something else that can go right instead. So it's time to bring things on to Chase Center for the last game in Game 4. Before Game 5, coming back after the Stanley Cup playoffs in between the games. So thank you all for joining us here for the last game. But now for this game, let's bring things on as we head you down to Mepo and Silver Spoon for tonight's coverage of the game. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy Game 4 of Grizzlies and Warriors. And the Warriors come down. And the Warriors are all inside right now as they're all ready to wrap things in for Game 4 and start their run. And this fog turns out to be one of San Francisco here for the game that kicks off here for the Warriors and Grizzlies. Hello everyone, Meat Bone here, along with Silver Spoon, as this game is about to be happening here at Chase Center. And joining here for tonight will be David Aldridge on the sideline. Hey, David. Kevin, thank you. Well, one thing is certain, anyone who looks at Draymond Green's scoring is missing his impact. Last season, Green had the most 15-plus assist games in NBA history by a non-guard and he averaged more assists and more rebounds than he did points. And his defense, of course, remains all NBA. Guys? What a, what a tremendous game story there. Thank Garner. you so much, UDA. Now with a look at the starting lineups in between Stephen Curry and John Morant, the key matchup in the point guard. And in between of Desmond Bain and the other player that we all call for, Clay Thompson. Then it's Dylan Brooks and the other player that goes out with the number one, Jordan Poole. Andrew Wiggins up on again on Jackson Jr. And the uh, small center is Draymond Green and Steven Adams. This should be a fun one given tonight. Let's give it a whirl. And for the Steven Adams team of the Grizzlies wins the tip up and we start down. All fueled up and ready to go. Wow, this one gives up a strong run here for John Morant to fix it up here for tonight. John Morant was seeming like he was going to try to like pick up a spacing muscle. In between my attack, and it can be very tricky down here. Curry outside. He's covered up here by John Morant. He's right down here at the pool. Five to shoot. And Richa Val is first called on Desmond Bain, his first. His first team foul has occurred for Memphis Grizzlies. The reach and foul was not that possible to try to like regain with the possession. It can be very tricky here to try to work their way around. Now they have something else to try to stomp them out or get rid of them. And Draymond Green picks up the assist and first bucket for Stephen Curry went in. Now here's Bain. And the jump ball is in between Draymond Green and Desmond Bain. Their teams are like all over the place. Wants to give up with one number and... Grizzlies wins the jump ball. John Moran picks it up here on the cover. Now he dishes off to Jackson Jr. 
Around pool. Every free throw can't make it to go. Draymond Green back pass and it's Brooks with the steal. The steal is not going to give them a good chance out there. They got something else to try to knock them down in order big time. Thompson alone. Three pointer can it's too strong and this will not count here to make the bucket in. Now Morant on Curry. He goes in, two pointer up, and a fade in shot. Floater goes in for John Morant. The John Morant floater is always the pressure that gives him up here with a one on one attack. The moment the bees that realized this was the only one that gives him up here with a better suggestion here for the offense. Now this gets up here for the run. They may have something else to go by. Now Curry dishes off to Poole. Poole inside. Back to Curry. In the attack. Goes inside. It's Curry with the bucket of two. The second bucket is in right now. Here for Seven Curry. And now this gives up a tie game. Adams. Finding over. Payne takes a dunk. This one gives up another two point lead average. This two point lead average out there. When you're talking about the key here to make that one succeed, they need something else to try to go big here to help them win here tonight. Thompson right to Green. Now he goes right back to Curry. The deep three for Curry. That goes off the target. As Joe Morant's already got that gem showed up already, they have something else to try to knock their way around. I don't know, but I can definitely bet on that. And Della Brooks hits the number two. Jammer Red's getting quite very good at this point. I'm betting on that one here. There may be a very good one here to try to take the attackers on the run. Incomplete by Red Law. Green right back to Curry. Only two minutes left here for the first quarter of the game. Green back to Thompson. Up for three. Good on the triple. It's Draymond Green with decent. Now in the other way, Bore on Curry. Brooks on Thompson. Moves back to Moray. Inside Adams. Good feet off with the layup drive, and it's Adams. And assist by John Moran. John Moran's got a great communicator out there. They have someone else to go in mind. Curry back inside. Drive inside. Look at that play in two. And it's another one by Draymond Green. Hey, right to Adams. He goes inside now. And goes back to Bain. 105 left to go here. Screen on Jackson Jr. Two-pointer. Throws in. And it's off the target in range. Under a minute left to play here in the first quarter. It's a 10-9 game. Tight battle in between. Might be going for a hard and struggle. Step back. Curry gives up nothing inside right now and it goes off the balance. Bain again. He moves it over. 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. Six to shoot. They have to get right in time to try to like work it up a bit. Up again, and oh, Thompson delivered a block. The blockness, however, gives him a, a lot of blockness monster. That's something else that he can keep that in mind. The lead, Curry, that's good. That gives up a one-point lead for the Warriors. Now this one is back to Morant. This one goes back in there, and it's bigger timing. Morant outside. That gives up nothing in front, and that ends the first quarter. 11-10 run. Tight matchup in between. Might be looking for the next one. Second quarter is coming up when we come back. And just the chance now to step into the second quarter as it's about to start things on the board. The person really gets in a lot of a great strength. Only happens to be a happiness here that gives him up here for a better run on the, on the drive. Most players have some a lot of higher advantage, and most of the other players have some technique that wants to step in the wild card in order to face their way to get right on the board. Now they might be going for it, they can try things again. And Kaminga gets his first try, and Stephen Curry with the assist. That's a great here on the feed. All they had to do 
has picked them up where they came from. Anderson right over again. Keep on Looney watching him. A rebound is picked up by Kubinga. He has his first rebound here for the game. And now this one goes back in to 4.30 left to go. Curry outside. This is off to Looney. Looney backs it up. Now he swings it over to Porter. Hey, and outside. Three to shoot. But the shot. This one goes off the target. And this one goes off wide. Melvin on Porter. The two-pointer advance shot. That goes with up in the floater. They're up by taking the trail of one. The trail of one's not going to be that easy here. You might have to try yourself a hard luck to try to work their way around. Don't be fooled by anybody else. That pass to Peyton. Curry up for three. Good on the triple. That's his first three in game four. They're up by, up by four. You deliver that one, you got it all changed up. That's a good clearance that they have it all gone down. Porter off to Kaminga. Right back over to Porter. Curry on number three. And the corner on the other hand is good. Curry gets his two three-pointers. It's 14 for Curry. Belly and on Peyton. And all's loose, Curry takes it over. And here comes the two on one. Corner, slam down, and a foul. Conchar picks up his foul, and the corner will head to the free throw line shooting one. Well, you better you better call that one be a, a slam down performance out there. Because that was a amazing nail on this play. More drive than ever. I definitely tell you what. Only Porter has gotten some lots of great feelings about himself. He's a real beast. That free throw will count at eight. Memphis, trying by ten. Now up to Clark. Back pass. And this one's a good feed off in between by the two. They're down by eight. They really gotta well watch the clock right down there because you still have some time left before you get right into the next one in the podium. Curry this is off the Payton. Payton swings it off the Porter. Six to shoot. Can we get back to Porter? Over around the fade off. And that shot will kick up here wide as he gets his rebound by himself. And Melissa gets his first bucket in the game. That goes up here to Porter with the assist. They really got some good uh, higher average for the feelings. What a play, what a termination. No, not Peyton. Two minutes left here for the first half of the game. Now Peyton, Porter back into the other way. Porter has got his first three-pointer here for tonight in game four. Now he swings up to Curry. Double man on him, finds Valencia. And Kaminga up. Good feed off and through. And then Valencia with the assist. Now they're all the pressure. The making is all they takes to believe and to your feelings. The first timeout has been called by Memphis Grizzlies with a minute and 32 to go. They have so many other uh, patients to go here on offense and try to slow things down. And now we have someone else to try to slam it up on the board. I know what you're thinking. There might be something else out there that might be uh, given a great run opportunity to score big here. That might be one thing at a time. That might be going for it the second time. I really love that one. Ladies and gentlemen, your commentator and supporters, me and you, me <laughs> You're like the only joker out there. No, well, don't have to mind. I've always had to work here really hard. But you won't have to do a quick one. Man, I'm definitely like being a 
tough man out there. I'm just joking around here so far. You definitely know me. New changes are being released here for the Warriors and for the Grizzlies. In between the uh, tackler, as all five players are checked out, all five players are checked in. Bain back to Morant. Morant on Thompson. Junior for three. Jackson Jr. delivers the first three-pointer. And now they're down again to try to pick it up all over the place. As the assist just goes up by John Morant. Now Green. Green rolls back over to Poole. Poole shoots from the elbow. That goes with a great feed. A two-pointer was too easy making to try to work it around. The bit off the patient, the more that you have it out here on your mind. And so much to love us, they, they've got some great stuff happening out there. Two-pointer for Jackson Jr. delivers off with number two. Now he picks it up here as they trail by eight. Or I mean trail by nine. Now he swings over to Wiggins. Wiggins trying to sweep things around and he finds three. Pocket six. Rebound by Thompson. Now Belitza will try to recover it and try to try to go over it again. Wiggins outside. He moves over to Green. The two-pointer up. And in and out. That was too close. Yeah, you tell me. Too close to call? It can be a very heartful, painful way. And Jackson Jr. delivers up here for the layup drive. And Wiggins will close things up here for the first half of the game. What a terrific play here on, on the first half. It's 28-21. And a chance now to catch you on David Aldrich. Dave? And now let's catch up with David Aldrich, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Steve. A good rhythm for you in the first half. What do you like most about how your team's competing? Just like the ball movement, you know, the drive and kick. Our guys have played really well together. Uh, we're trying to move the ball, get a great shot. We'll see if we can keep the ball flying around as we continue. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right, the DA, we'll be right back with you for the second half. We'll see you right back after this halftime show. What a great game as the Warriors got a great breakout chance to go for the next one that can be going for 3-1. Let's have a recap moment and the commentator crews with their thoughts. The first half was all about Stephen Curry. He had 14 points and one steal. Hey, big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? Ball movement was a real factor for them on offense. They played unselfishly with patience. The guys got shots in their favorite spots. When you get those high percentage looks, good things tend to happen. And now, Kenny, let's get your opinion on Memphis. Uh, the effort has been there in terms of rebounding the ball. They're getting outworked in that part. You've got to be more physical to turn this thing around. I don't know if they have the personnel to do that. And I'll wrap things up here. As we get started for the second half, we bring you back to Chase Center. And we got the second half coming in right down on the way, as right now it's a 28 21 game. All because of what they call for, it's Stephen Curry. The Curry man, of course, he now knows his way through. Stephen Curry's all looking all over the place out there. He says, I know I can definitely pressure the feeling. I got a great status here and can be going for the next player to reach the higher ranking in the game. All players really like to wonder to find out if Stephen Curry has a moment on his ability. The second half starts now and a three coming in for Poole. Good outside of range. This one's Thompson with the assist. This one's a tough one. The make of all driving moment out there. Maybe showing things off to a real hot start. Brooks outside for three. Another miss. And last touch here that goes off here for the Warriors on the green. And a catching moment of the mobile one block. Clay Thompson delivered out with a moment's block of timing. His timing will tell. Even with that one, gives up a great uh, opportunity strength. 
of Clay Thompson, number 11. He may have it all down the board. Moran outside for three. That gives up to a great uh, scoring drop as this one comes back in and try to work their way around. Now Thompson will kick things back again. Backing over is Curry. Moves it over to Wiggins. Wiggins up. He's fouled. And it's by Jackson Jr. to happen the same thing, just like game three. The last game was like too much to keep the eyes on. He was boxed an elbow on that time. Look at that play one more time. You know what the bat elbow had done? He put a lot of slam out there, and it was too hard to try to like keep the track in momentum. Now their teams have some a lot of great encouragement to try to knock them back down. I can't usually say anything. This is all that happens to me when we know it, to go under pressure. Wiggins hits the first free throw. The moment of time I really think of Andrew Wiggins, it's the moment of time that I would like to uh, see how well he, really well he does. I know for himself, that's for his quest. And a second free throw falls it in. Wiggins has his first bucket here. And right now Memphis is trailing a lot of points here behind. Jackson Jr. on Curry. And almost had a steal, but it was too soon to take the recover. Jackson Jr. right to Brooks. A three, a scoring drop comes back in. And they are pulling it back in down on run. This one's going to be a very hard in trouble. They need something else to try to keep them alive. Curry right back to Poole. Poole right back to Curry. He now he switches off to Wiggins. Inside now Curry, and he's fouled. That's on Stephen Adams. This will be his first second team foul on Memphis. Curry was going to get there and drive out there. That motion element, it went too far. Well, because of what happened here, it was too far, it was too much. He was almost putting up a neck on the, on the head. He just got him thrown out like he banned him out. Stephen Curry is at the free throw line shooting two. Here, just 3.21 to go here for the third period. The first free throw for Curry is checked on in. You call that one Curry the big man. New group substitutions are coming in for Memphis Grizzlies as Melton and Anderson are checked in. Meanwhile, Porter and Kaminga are checked in, along with the crew of Kiva Looney. And Clay Thompson will switch it over to shooting guard. And a second free throw for Curry knocks it in. 16 points for Curry as they extend the lead here to try to pick things up here on the board. Oh, John Morant, watch out now. No outside. The three pointer is off the target in range. They're all too much dazzling out there. They need something to go right big in between. Thompson right to Kaminga. Kaminga has back to the loose and this one recovers by Looney. Four on the shot clock. Thompson for three. Good! Outside of range. It gives them another great opportunity range. That's six points for Clay Thompson. That moment in time, my friend, knows his way. The true being of the, of the ultimate. Rudy right back to Thompson. And here comes the fast break. Kaminga slams down. And it's Thompson with the assist. He is pressuring all the kills and momentum out there. He's really in double running moment. Morant in the paint. Adams inside and cuts the bucket of one. And Kevon Looney is as his foul, his first personal, and their number team foul. The director was giving him a hard time and then showing how much how style he has got. And, if, and with that one, when you see the finger, that's going to be his first personal. But he gives him up. The new changes are going to be released here for the next one. As there's some a lot of players as Morant is checked out and Conchar is checked in.
And Steven Adams delivers up here for the free throw. Warriors lead by 10. Now he goes right to Thompson. Another one for three. And Curry! Look at that fade out! He can make the three! Are you kidding me? That moment was all that took him for a long time out there. I am way too serious. And a reach for foul will be on Looney. His second personal, second team foul. And Adams is checked out. Now Brendan Clark is checked in. Only a minute and 47 to go. Warriors right now. Thompson and Porter are checked out. Thompson moves over. As Peyton is checked in. Outside Belton. Three for Concha. That's good on the outsider. And this one goes back down by 10. Watch out now. This is a lookout below you for the ball. They try to make a switch here for the three. We need someone to try to uh, knock them down fast. Thompson moves over to Peyton in the second. And this one calls for offensive foul. He now gets his own foul. And it turns over to move a Golden State to Memphis ball. Not so good out there. There's just so much to tell you about that one. You don't want to make a mistake here on the charts. That would be too much to make a force fold run to try to stop the pressure run from being attacked. And now if all it does turn out, you don't want to get ripped around. And a rebound picks up here by a pass. Oh, again, a beat in. Payton goes back to Looney. Back to Payton. Payton back to Curry. Moves it over to Kaminga. Over again. That's a good bucket score for Kaminga. He now knows this rule. His second worst has always been easier than he has done before. Now here's Conchar. Rolls up to Jones for three. Off the target. And it's off again on the Thunder. Clarkson backs it up. Anderson can't make the shot in time. Kaminga with the rebound. Rolls back to Curry. This is off right to Thompson. Moves it over to Looney. Free for Curry. Good outside it goes. 22 and he's now past the 20 point spot mark. The spot mark is calling for what he did here before. He knocks it out. And Kiva Looney, wow. Wow. What a shot here for the block. I like that one. Much better than that. New substitutions are coming in here for the Warriors as the new changer for Grizzlies making some level change. As three players comes out, Green, Wiggins, and Poole are checked in right along the other way. Now Jackson Jr. Jones in with the attack. Block the game! I don't know if it was Andrew Wiggins or Clay Thompson. We don't know. Well, you guess you're going to have to find out there then. There's a lot of chance. Fourth quarter is underway when we come back right after this. And a moment now to reveal your State Farm assist of the game. All turns out to be the once. And moment of that time, we, you got a great, a great situation in between for the Warriors to try to pick things up. Now they have it all ain't covered up. They got a great feeling, so they got some higher average. Now they're all on board. The fourth quarter is about to be started here, as you're all glad to make us to join us here for this game, as this one is ready to be fueled up and ready to go here for the fourth quarter of game number four. This realizing is an extensive matchup here. I like this game the most. It can be a very, very fun matchup in between. Marion's outside. The three comes it in there, and this one comes back down to do things again. All over trails, all over the doubt, no daption. Here is over to Thompson. Now Wiggins with the screen. Goes back to Poole. Pocket six. They need to get some shots here. Thompson went off the target. Now Colcher. 
up again, Jackson Jr. missing a number three, a number miss by Memphis. Looks like they got something else to do to try to work their way around instead. They'd be very tough for them to get right by. Now he finds Green. We're under four minutes here to play in the fourth quarter. Four for three. And another miss by Golden State Warriors. He was wide open. He could have a chance to make a three-pointer and go for a shoot it. Moment at that point may be a very tough one to be a last. Bang! A number three-pointer delivers up here. This one is reaching down by nine. Now this is off the back. Take it. Thompson right on the other player. Laying outside. Screen again. And up to two. This one's off the target and out of range. There's no open shots being made. Unfortunately, we don't have anything else to cover. Payne on Thompson. The screen was up and rejected away. Now Williams, Jones inside. This one's a two. Rejected by Draymond Green. You can feel the heat of this pump. This crowd is like pumped up and ready. Like show your stuff. This one's like the tough one. I always believe that one in between the uh, moments as well. I may be a lot that hard to try to figure it out that they had before. With a shot, and it's a shot clock violation. It now turns to be a Warriors ball. Only 2.43 left to go, and it was too much time to try to make it in time. Yeah, I'm just trying to recap that one here. It looks like it was hard to try to figure things out. The hand was too soon, and the shot was way too soon. It was all that happened once more. And Corey lost the ball. And with that, Morant goes back the other way. This one reaches out. And Morant, finding over again into between the zone, works outside. 2.50 left to go. Jackson Jr. can't make the three. We're approaching down two minutes left here in the third, fourth quarter of the game. This is definitely a way it's such games that they have all down here before. Shouldn't be taking here too long. Time set for three. Good on the triple. The outside of the range for nine. And another one goes up to pool. And Morant up to Steven Adams. Back to Morant. That one goes in for another lucky take here for the three-pointer. The Celtics usually try to work their thing around. They got nothing else. Morant back to Curry. Switches back to Cool. And this one reaches out of bounds. Takes too much time in between here. Anyway, they move down the shot clock to game clock. Now they got something else out there. They didn't, now didn't see that one coming out there. The moment of this time is a very tricky, tricky set. Correct. Dunk it through. You call that one the beast. The beast all does give it out here with one pressure words and one pressure feelings. And that number foul goes up on the team of Memphis. It's Jackson Jr., his first personal. Team and first team foul occurs. This one was going to be another one to try to work things up. That could have been a Stephen Curry with the drive and motion out there to try to pick up their way around. First free throw sends it in. And if you're all tuning for game five, we have another one here for you. We have the Heat and the other team that are happening here to start things up here. For a moment at that time, we have another one to come in. It's a running shoes here of track. Facing on against the other, other shoes attack. 
Second free throw for Thompson's good. He has 11 points in the game. Now he goes right over to Moran. Now he moves it off. And you can feel the pressure. It's coming down the wire. Lavender last minute to go here in the first quarter. This one's like the only toughest one to try to get it all those back. Now, Jermaine Green finds Poole. Thompson up. The two-pointer can't hit the goal. Now again, here's Bain. 30 seconds to go. Brooks for three. That goes off the target. Now for again. Olipo and a reach is fouled on Bain. The second first goal, second team foul. It looks like they're definitely going to have to try to do one on two shots. And it looks like they're going to be a, they're going to be going for it. You could be right. It all really does go out in between by those two. The first free throw for Williams is good. The last changeup will be Kirk here for the Grizzlies as they have all five players checked out, except for Adams. Adams is not going anywhere. He likes to keep his state out there until as long as he has. The second free throw for Williams is good. Timeout followed by Memphis Grizzlies with 21.6 seconds to go. And we will catch you on the break when we come back. The NBA playoffs on 2K22 of 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers, the official vehicle of the NBA. State Farm, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Airline. Chips Ahoy, official cookie of the NBA. So far, the game is almost over. Now let's reveal the New Balance player of the game. In game four, this one all turns out. The good player and the bad, John Morant. John Morant was going to get to a tough timing on bullets. His balance was all it does turn out. Avoiding the team, trying to knock it down, and it all happens sometimes. It can be a very uh, difficult range here. Melton for three. He makes that one, and I will be almost that time to finish the game. And back to Toscano. Toscano gets fouled by Tillman with his first third team foul. Only 9.8 seconds to go, and it's now Toscano at a line two on one. Taking two shots. The first free throw is sent there. You feel like the, all the players are already hydrated out there? You know, there's someone else out there. They've got a great hustle in the back. The second free throw went off target, and it's last time I'm called by Memphis Grizzlies. 9.4 seconds to go, and now they will have some quick discussion here to take off their run. The Game 5 status here on the board will be happening here, as you have a different changeup in between the two. We have a number one. It will be a secondary of the Memphis Grizzlies and the Warriors here in Game 5 back at the other place on FedEx Forum. Then for the next game, we have is a number one here for you. This one calls out here for the Warriors, Grizzlies, Jazz versus the Suns. 
That will be happening here on the next day to find out what your hair has came from. Well, I'm not going to mind. This is all that happens to me one moment of time. I really have a lot of surprise out there. It looks like they got a great solution here. New, cha new changes are being released here on defense and offense. Now the last team, man made man. Morant for three. That's off the target, and this one will end the game. Final score for tonight is 56 to 50. The Warriors wins the game, and now they might be heading toward the seventh season. It can be very warm tier two, but I know what you feel like you did. And a chance now to catch you on the sideline reporter, David Aldridge. All right, Dave, it's all yours now. Who do you have here? Thanks very much, Draymond. One of the cliches of basketball is that the ball finds energy. When teammates are making shots, does that give you more energy? Oh, yeah, it does. You know, when we're in the flow, the ball's just moving around. It allows me to play make, and you know, then I just try to find open gap and take the shots where they're off. Man, it was really flowing tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. David All right, right, there's T.A. Thank you very much. Along with me and Silver Spoon, was David Ashton, David Aldridge. This has been a presentation of the NBA Western Conference Semifinals. Now the first game is on. Set of East, you take it from here. Great night here in the state of California. All right, then. Thank you very much here, me phone. I also have gotten some great agreements here that you played here very hard and commentate here as one we have. Now, here are your boxes scores that will be here for free star players of the game as the time is approaching. This time for number three, we have it all turned out. It was John Moran. 12 points, one rebound, four assists, and one steal. Only two dunks has made here in the performance run. Now for number two, this was all that definitely did turn out like you did here before. And sometimes, with everybody else complaining about that, there aren't anybody. Now for number two, we have is Clay Thompson. 11 points, four rebounds, one assist, and two blocks. Why, why, why are you wanting to uh, waste it? There's no way to waste this one here. He has a lot of good stuff out there that you will never see. And in the meantime, back again right now, number one is all it comes down to this. Stephen Curry. 22 points, no rebounds, and only one assist in the steal, especially the turnover, and turnover too. So that is it for the game. I hope you all enjoyed your amazing game here on the uh, one of the bestest, uh, bestest teams. I want to give that one a try. Um, is there any other questions? Well, you'll have to find out later then. So thank you for watching, and I have a wonderful day. And for that one, peace out everyone for a while as the NBA playoffs of 2K22 dial. I'm Son of Beast, and along with the crew of Me Fun and Silver Spoon, David Aldridge, see you all next time in Game 5. See you folks next time. Till then.